and welcome back to Ark Survive and Ark Survival Ascended. I'm Craig. Sit back, grab a drink, and let's make some mistakes. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at a comparison side by side. Hang on. <laughs> Ark Survival Ascended, Ark Survival Evolved. So we're going to be starting on the basic Bob Beach. I'm just going to walk around the bay. We'll take a look at what we see and spot the differences. So here we go. Right away, you're looking at the end. Survival Ascended, there is much more stuff on the beach. And look at the in the distance. And while you also be paying attention to the highlights on the water, the distance, the, the, the stuff you're seeing in the background, and just how much stuff there is, how much foliage, how many more rocks, and how smooth it is. So you see, I've got the, the frame rates going for both of them. You can see that we're getting around 33 right now and they're around 30, solid 30. But if you take a, take a look at Ark Survival Evolved, something you never notice for the, a little bit of jitter in there. And there's a popping, like we're looking at in the, in the Ascended, I don't see any pop in at all. I don't see any trees, any anything coming in. Whereas in Survival Evolved, we are seeing pop in. And we're not seeing any of that where the, the artifacting, where the water is reflected as part of the tree shadow. See, the splashes are different. The quality of the light is different. And I have motion blur turned off. And that's it. The light blooms and the light rays and the fog and everything is all still on. Haven't turned anything off on Survival Ascended. We do see there some of those floating rocks. The, um, the, little, the rocks and the actual terrain mesh, they're a little out of sync in places. You would notice that on the PC version, the Steam version, the Xbox version, it's all the same. That's a little bit out. Hopefully they're going to get around to fixing that. But all in all, I mean, it's looking great. We're getting pretty much 30 frames per second, at least all the time or more than morning. But look at the beach. Look at how much stuff is on the beach. And Survival Evolved is just empty by comparison. I mean, it's an eight-year-old game. It's, we're not comparing to, hey, look, how much worse is it? Just saying, look at the differences. If you're one of those people, well, I don't know whether I should get Survival Ascended or not. We're taking a look at it right now. So, after my first days of experience, what can I say? First of all, you uh, create your character. You have a lot of control over, more control over body shape and that sort of thing than you did before, but we still only have one face. We can't change the facial features. We change the color of the eyes and that's it. You can't change the shape of the nose, the mouth or anything like that. So notice right down there, there's, there's a difference when we come back into the light. Look, you have a shadow in Survival Ascended. One more thing that helps you stay with the immersion. Anyway, um, other than that, uh, if you watched my Twitch stream yesterday, we, we can go through it. I'll show you all the things. We'll do another comparison video of all the things you can change, all the things you can set up in both of them. Anyway, the biggest thing I noticed was a 100% crash rate. Not through the game, all the time, only at one point. The first time you create a, create a game, and I had to do it several times because I was testing things out, but you create a game and Helena does her spiel, are you the one, are you the one? And you go through that and it goes to white and crashes. Every time. For me, for Ken, for Drew, everybody that I've been checking, everybody, it crashes. But as soon as you're done with that, restart the game and on PS5 or, or an SSD, then it's lightning fast to restart. Get back to where you're loading in and hit square to continue in the same thing and it'll put you back in and you spawn in fine. And other than that, if you're watching the stream, I think I had that crash and two other crashes, and both of them were related to the same things. Mods. The mods weren't bad. The mods didn't cause me to crash. It was just starting up a mod made the PlayStation have a little bit of a fit and crash. And then again, reload square to go back in and everything is fine. And then the mod works perfectly fine. And you're saying mods. Okay, here's one thing. This isn't there on Survival of All. This tree isn't there, this section. So I wonder if this is some sort of Easter egg kind of thing, because this wasn't on the beach. 
I don't see anything right now, anything specific. We might have to go back and take another look at that and see if there's something there that we should be looking at. And here, look, there's a rocky headland in ASA. You can't just walk around on the beach. You have to swim. So take a look underwater here. Oh, we had a little bit of a dip on the frame rate on ASA there. So, and if you want to check the frame rate on your system, you need to have the console commands enabled. And you enable your console commands and you type in stat FPS, S-T-A-T -T space F-P-S, and enter it. And it will give you the, the information about your frames per second on the screen. And you type stat FPS again and it gets rid of it. I think that's how you do Pretty sure that's how it does it. Anyway, so there's Red Ob looking much more ominous in um, Survival Ascended. And notice you can't see the base really very well here because there's trees in the way. Also, our, take a notice, we're going to come up on some right here. No. If you watch the foliage, okay, watch this foliage here. See, the foliage reacts as I walk through it. It all, it moves, it rustles. It, uh, we don't just phase through it. So the biggest thing that I would say is different is that the map is different, but the same. Like if you have played the island a lot and all of us who played Ark Survival Evolved for a long time have, because the island was the first map and it, you, you just played it the most in early days. And if you did that and you know the map, you know where everything is. It's the same land masses, basically. It's just a lot more pretty, a lot more detail. And even though it doesn't look exactly the same, as we can see by the side-by-side -side comparison, you still know where you are because it's the same map. So it's like, okay, I know where I am on the map here. I mean, aside from there's red ob right in front of us, but I know what part of the map, what part of the island is. I know what's good coming up. I know... I know there should be a Sarko nearby because there's an, always a Sarko in this area. And look at the different, look at the difference in water underneath. The, so much vegetation stuff underneath there. I mean, we aren't going to see much because we're getting parodded. Thank you. That, that, that was great. Welcome to Ark. <laughs> so, um, what can we say from that? Uh, so there's a comparison for you. Um, we'll be doing more this Friday. I'll do some actual, I'll do some comparisons of, on other things. Tell here's a, here's a good question for you right now. First of all, subscribe, do that. If you want to see more content like this, you want to see more comparisons side by side, and you want to see adventures in Ascended and leave a comment down below. What area of the map would you like to see a comparison of? Would you like to see what the frame rates are like of the two? What's the difference between the two? Let me know if there's anywhere you'd like to see or anything else you'd like to see in this. So, thank you for watching. Do the like, the follow, subscribe, all the things you know how to do anyway. And we'll see you next time.